Hello everybody, I am Chris, also known as Crispy Melon XL. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a zombie game. So first, you need to set a background. If I were you, I would set a blue sky background. So, if you want the background to be my, like mine, follow my steps. First, make, make your entire background blue. You can make it however you want, just if you want to make it exactly like mine, follow these steps. First of all, you got to make the entire theme blue, then you go to free draw and draw clouds. Then, fill up the clouds again. And, and then make a little tree right there for a bit of decoration. And then create a character that has to survive the zombies. Make sure you make the face look good. You don't have to make, you don't have to try the hardest. Just uh, make sure you have a good face. After you do that, make sure, make sure to uh, actually place a body and arms. Place legs too. You can, this is optional, you don't have to do this. You can like, you can make his entire body. Mm. Right, there's your character. Then if he's a little too big, shrink him down. And then make a zombie character, which is one of the most obvious steps. Do that. Okay. After that, after that's finished, you should place your zombie, shrink it down to the survivor's size. When do you do when you do that? You should probably you should you should switch out that with a with a start screen. You should all you could also set a difficulty to make it look cooler. I'm gonna set it medium. Then click make a play button. Oh, you can make, you can pause, pause, there's pausing time. Okay, after you do that, put a start on tap character in its program area. Then, put it to go to page two. Then, when you click it, It'll be. It'll go to that. To this screen. Also, here's one of the most important parts in the game to do. You need to make. You need to make arrows so that the character can move around and actually survive the zombie. Once you make arrows, here's, you're going to have to do their commands. Just click and do a start on the top character, and then make it send a letter to this character to make it move the directions pointing.
way, after you do that, you should, you gotta put this one as well. Make, make sure you got its color, then do that. Then, when you click the buttons, it'll make the character move. Now, you're gonna want the zombie to move around so that there's actually challenge. If you make if you make it to where the zombie does other things, that should make it surprising for the character. You should make it to where the character has to escape the zombie. If the character t make make a scene, if the char if you do this, if you make a if you make a you died screen, if if you do this. The, when, then when you touch it, it should make it should put you to a you died screen. Um, then make a retry button. Okay, then make a when make a tap. So it and then will it will put you back to here. And make and make sure to surprise the player to make to make it funner. Don't forget to make a time limit. After you do that, it, you can send a it can send a message to itself. Here, now he's trying to take my iPad. Yes, after you do that, after you do that, then you could go, then make a U1, make a U1 screen. He's just little. He doesn't understand. Okay? Don't push him over, please. Being rude. He's a baby. He doesn't know rude, honey. So we need to teach him that violence is not the answer, especially for him. He's eating all of us up. Do that. And then you can do that. Let me escape. Difficulty medium. Play. Uh oh, I died. It'll be surprising what the zombie is gonna do. No, it's dead. Leave it alone. I just plugged it in. No. 